hi guys welcome back to a new video in this video we are going to make this slot uh, machine title in after effects so in order to start the animation we'll start with a new composition of 1080 into 1080 Uh, the composition you can select any composition i'm just selecting a uh, 1080 into 1080 square composition and you can just name it as slot slot machine title or something like that and uh, once that is done uh, the next thing is we have to type in our text uh, here i'm just simply typing slot uh, so you can actually approach the same uh, style of animation and techniques to create any number of uh, animate any number of uh, letters and create a title animation like that so once you uh, type in the text you want uh, just align them properly and uh, find a comfortable uh, font size so you can uh, work with them easily once all that is done uh, then uh, then uh, next thing is we have to uh, right now all the uh, text letters are actually in a single layer uh, so uh, the next thing is we have to separate each of them uh, separately and uh, after that we can just uh, uh, move on to the next part okay now that i have separated all of them uh, the next thing is we have to uh, make the sender port uh, properly for uh, sender for every single of that uh, letters and after that we can just uh, rearrange them properly and uh, and we can adjust the uh, alignment and spacing all that things uh, properly and uh, once that is done uh, we can just align them uh, to the center of our composition and uh, after that we can just pre-comb them and uh, we'll just uh, move all the attributes to the composition and uh, we'll just name it as title and uh, once that is done uh, then we can just move on to uh, the next part of our tutorial and uh, once you completed all that you can just uh, uh, go inside the composition and uh, here in order to align everything properly we are actually going to uh, need to keep them a little bit apart and I have an image for uh, some artworks in a slot machine uh, I just uh, uh, got from uh, uh, Pinterest and uh, here I am going to use this uh, artwork in order to uh, uh, use for the slot machine animation so uh, first you imported that uh, I have a background here so I'm just uh, using a linear color uh, color key to remove that excess colors we don't need and uh, you can just adjust the title uh, adjust the settings everything so that you can uh, keep whatever things you want and uh, things like that and after that uh, here uh, all that uh, images are actually in single layer so we have to pre-comb them and uh, we have to separate them uh, into a single line so i just pre-comb them and uh, the next thing is we are going to use masking uh, techniques and uh, we are going to uh, make a uh, four different uh, copy of this layer and uh, we are going to mask each of these uh, lines and uh, we are going to arrange them one by one so we'll be able to uh, align them properly and before that we have to uh, crop the uh, region of interest so uh, only uh, enough space is there for the artwork uh, we don't want any excess space or anything like that so we'll contain everything properly within the composition uh, like that once the composition is actually properly uh, cropped and uh, uh, make sure that uh, the artwork isn't actually not being cut off or anything like that then uh, the next thing is we can just uh, start duplicating and uh, are rearranging the artwork and uh, here i'm just uh, uh, increasing the length of this newly created composition so that we'll be able to contain all the artwork uh, in a single line so uh, once that is done uh, you can just uh, uh, arrange the first line at the top and then you can just duplicate and uh, arrange them one by one and each time you have to make sure uh, that uh, uh, a new line uh, of artwork is actually being aligned properly and uh, if you have a overlapping or anything like that you, later on you can just mask them out and uh, 
uh, you can arrange them properly and uh, if you have any uh, issues with the length of the composition you can just sorry height of the composition you can just increase them as well uh, here i just uh, duplicated and arranged all the artwork and uh, here i have a small overlapping from uh, uh, in one of the artwork so you can just mask them out and you can just invert the composition so uh, whatever you want it will be visible and uh, the things you don't want will be uh, hidden so uh, if you are able to get a single artwork uh, in a single line then uh, you don't have to follow any of these steps uh, here i i was not able to get an image like that so i just uh, approached uh, 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 like this and once that is done you can just uh, arrange the composition just above one of the letters and you can just uh, make sure that it's aligned properly and everything like that and uh, then uh, in order to identify everything properly you can just uh, label the colors and uh, then uh, after that uh, labeling i'll just duplicate uh, the letters uh, layers once more and i'll uh, uh, a, make a different layer color for that also and after that i'll just move that letters uh, just above the composition so when the slotting is actually uh, rotated throughout and uh, uh, at the end uh, the letters will be uh, visible and after that uh, we have to uh, uh, parent that uh, newly created letter layer as well as the slot artwork to a single uh, in here in example we'll have to parent them to letter s after that we'll duplicate uh, the artwork once more and we'll move to uh, uh, just above the letter l and we'll just uh, 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 move, uh, use the same process as before and we'll duplicate it to the next layer and the next one after that we'll just uh, each of these letter uh, artwork and uh, the corresponding letter we'll select them and uh, we'll parent it to the uh, respective letters in this case we'll select the duplicate l letter and the artwork and parent it to our uh, original letter l and uh, we'll uh, parent the uh, all letter and artwork to letter o and uh, t as well uh, like that so uh, when we uh, actually do that uh, when we are actually going to move that original letters in the position uh, in, in y axis the letters and uh, the artwork will be moving and uh, at the end we have a slot animation like that so we actually added position values for uh, the letters and we'll just move to maybe one second or something like that uh, if you have any timing issues we can adjust it later on and after that uh, we'll just uh, uh, put a guiding line so we can actually arrange the letters in the same position as the original and after that we'll just move that position for the letter uh, until uh, the duplicated uh, letter uh, will reach its uh, original space so now we have a animation of that letter and the artwork actually moving down and uh, finally again uh, the slot title will be coming back to its original position and uh, after that we can just add some easing uh, here i'm using motion tools to add some uh, easing uh, fast and easy and uh, if you uh, don't have that uh, plugins you can just manually do the basic easing and you just have to adjust the curves a little bit sharper and then we can just add some motion blur to each of these letters so uh, when it's animating we have some motion blur and it looks much better compared to uh, without a blur and once all that is completed we can select uh, the original layers and uh, uh, after that uh, here i'm just using motion tools in order to sweeten the layers uh, a little bit and uh, if you are not able to do it uh, uh, using a plugin you can just manually move it maybe three four frames uh, we don't have that many uh, layers or anything we just have to uh, uh, move these four layers uh, since all the layers everything is actually parented uh, each of this animation will be uh, happening uh, corresponding to that so uh, you can just uh, do it manually as well it will not be a uh, problem and you can see uh, as we 
uh, uh, sequence dumb uh, the animation is actually already looking much better the only uh, problem is in the beginning uh, uh, we are actually not able to see the entire letter so in order to prevent that uh, what we can do is uh, the sequence layers are actually uh, already uh, there we just have to uh, you know extend them to the beginning uh, at the zero frames so it will be visible in the beginning as well and uh, uh, after that uh, the letter s will be start animating then o will be start animating and uh, corresponding to that uh, the uh, remaining letters will be start animating and uh, so uh, we'll just have to uh, extend each of these layers to the uh, zero frame margin and uh, we'll just do that so in the beginning we have the letters and then it will be start animating so uh, we have our basic animation uh, ready uh, the next thing is we have to uh, go out of the uh, we have to go to the main composition and we'll just uh, uh, use that uh, round or rectangle shape in order to mask out only the slot letter uh, title will be uh, will be masking and uh, so the rest of the remaining things will not be visible in the main composition after that uh, uh, in order to make it a machine uh, slot machine kind of effect uh, we'll just have to uh, add a stroke so we'll uh, add the stroke effect uh, onto that uh, layer uh, composition so uh, since the stroke is actually taking that uh, value from the mask so uh, uh, the stroke will be added to the mask and uh, we have a machine kind of you know a contained area will be there uh, and it will look a bit uh, much better uh, than a uh, plain old you know, rectangle shape after that in order to add some effects and all things like that we'll just add a uh, solid uh, white layer uh, we need some uh, kind of uh, effects in the background for our slot machine so we'll go back into the uh, uh, slot composition and we'll add a solid and we'll add the grid effect onto that solid and uh, we'll just adjust uh, the border uh, uh, we'll just increase the uh, border size uh, so we have a uh, uh, lot more lines and things like that and after that in order to create a small uh, star kind of effect we'll be adding one more effect onto this uh, slot uh, so on this solid so we'll add a reference effect onto that and uh, once you adjust the border uh, values uh, you can see it's actually uh, creating in some uh, random star kind of effects uh, here and there and uh, that will make a much more you know interesting output and uh, after that we can just add a simple glow uh, for that uh, uh, solid so we have that stars will be glowing a little bit and it will give much more uh, you know interesting output so uh, uh, once you added all three effects uh, you can already see uh, how it's actually uh, looking much better compared to a uh, plain old uh, you know, ba empty background kind of thing. After that we have to animate uh, the background as well uh, moving along with the uh, slot machine. So uh, we'll add a position value uh, for the solid and uh, uh, just like before we'll actually animate it. Uh, in the y axis and uh, since the solid is actually only in the size of the composition uh, when we are actually start moving it uh, it will not be visible properly so we'll add a uh, cc repeat tile and uh, we'll adjust that uh, repeat tile here in the example i am adjusting the uh, value uh, expand up so when you expand up uh, it will be duplicating uh, repeating the same uh, effect uh, at the top and uh, we have a uh, really nice effect of that and uh, once you uh, find the right timing and uh, if you are happy with the output you can just go to the uh, uh, main composition and check how it's looking and uh, uh, you can see it's actually uh, looking much better compared to you know without a background so after that you can just add the easing uh, and uh, match the easing uh, with the letters or you can just add a separate easing here i am adding a separate easing so it will be stopping a little bit uh, later uh, than the letters so it will have a much better 
uh, output than uh, other things and after that we'll add a uh, composition uh, sorry a solid background to our main composition as well so we have a proper background as well uh, here i'm just uh, uh, uh we'll select a random color after that uh, we'll add a glow effect onto the main composition as well uh, main slot composition as well so we have a uh, you know uh, again much more brighter effect here as well so uh, a, inside we already have some glow effect on the stars so when we add a uh, glow in the main slot uh, title as well it will look much more uh, interesting so with that uh, we just completed our simple slot machine title animation i hope you guys learned something new and if you learn something new and uh, if you would like to uh, learn uh, much more about after effects please do subscribe and turn on the notification thank you for watching